Win as one. EA Sports, FIFA 21. Sponsors Saturday Social. And those are the top 10 goal scorers in Premier League history. You can see it on your screen now. Chunks, Harry Kane entered that at the weekend. Where does he sit and how far can he go, do you think, in this top 10 goal scorers list? Oh, uh, he's laughing, you know. He can, he can, he can easily be within a top three, like because he's got so many years left at Tottenham. If he does decide to stay there, hopefully he doesn't. Uh, but yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, I reckon top three, top three, you can get within that top three, man. Obviously, you know, we need to give more props to as well, Andy Cole, bro. This guy is yeah. not spoken about as much as he should be, man. Like he's, inc- he's been an incredible player for Manchester United. So yeah, just shout out to Andy Cole, man. And you can actually be yeah, neutral well, on this one as well, Chunks, because you haven't got their names in your yeah, phone right. book. <laughs> well, Andy Cole, no, Andy Cole is maybe. my uncle. So, yeah, but you know what I mean? It's fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> stitch uh, me up. <laughs> uh, Alex, let's move on to you. Uh, I want to ask you, what's interesting about that list? Obviously, Shearer is way out in front, but Kane actually has the best goals-to-game ratio of anyone on that list, and that is the top 10 in Premier League history. So, statistically, would that suggest he's the most prolific goal scorer? In Prem history? Yeah, you need to chill out. Yeah, that's for you, you Alex. <laughs> I, I don't... Do you know what? You're really putting me in a bit of a spot there, to be honest, Adam, mate. Yeah, because um, you're a Chelsea fan. Um, see what I've done. Yeah, he's, yeah he's, he's, I'd like to see if if he played more games, you know, if he wasn't injured all the time, maybe not. Yeah. We'll never know that. <laughs> um, Chunks, Alan Shearer recently said this about Kane. If he stays injury-free, he's got a great opportunity to break my record. Do I want him to? What do you think? Which I thought was quite good. Uh, Kane scored 150 goals. Shearer has 260. So Kane needs 111 goals to break it. He's 27, so he's still relatively young. Do you think Kane will break Shearer's record? Put me on the spot. What do you think? Do you, uh, do you want me to be honest? If he stays at yes. Tottenham, which I don't know... Uh, yes, he will break it because he's got another five Ooh. solid years, I think. But um, someone as like as someone as big as like Kane, if, if they're not starting to win some type of silverware soon, I reckon he's going to be off, man. And I don't blame him. You should text oh. him. I, I, I don't <laughs> know. I, him. I, wish I, I wish I did. I wish I did. I'll come on to trophies in just a second, but I want to pick up on something Alex said actually about about injuries. Obviously, 111 goals. He does pick up a lot of injuries. I think it's eight injuries in the last three seasons. Alex, you were mentioning it there. Do you think that that's properly going to hold him back? Yeah, well, I always loved Aguero, but he's always injured all the time because I thought he was going to be one of those players who just keep on going and going and going and going. But I think that at what point do you end up like Michael Owen where it's just you can't walk anymore and then it's over? Yeah, and I mean, we've already spoken a little bit about a tr- Chelsea uh, trophy there. Uh, Chunks, I know you're smiling because you don't think he's going to win one at Tottenham. Do you think oh. any trophy is good enough at this stage? Or do you think it has to be a Premier League title? Because is a League Cup really good enough to take him sort of up into those pantheons of greats? No, nah, if you want me to be honest, bro, I reckon Spurs can generally win a win a trophy because they've been playing very well, well obviously, with Jose on the side. No, nah, that's me being honest. I'm not going to lie now, do you know what I mean? But I'm saying it has to happen fast because obviously Kane's 27. He's going to hit the prime of his life soon, like being around 28, 29 as a striker. So I reckon if they don't get at least either the, the Champions League, Premier League, maybe even the FA Cup, because right? obviously they haven't smelt anything in a long time. Uh, so I think the FA Cup will do. <laughs> what? Yeah, even the FA Cup will do. As a Chelsea fan, how much that worry you? We've got to talk about whether you think Kane will stay at Spurs because that is a huge factor as to whether or not he breaks it. Obviously, a lot of positivity at Spurs now with Jose, with, with the investment in the squad, the new stadium, the training ground. Do you think Kane will stay long-term at Spurs? And how much does that worry you as a Chelsea fan if he does? Uh, I don't, to be honest, it does worry me because that front three <laughs> of him, Bale and Son is just like, if it keeps on kicking on, it's just unbelievable and will be unplayable yeah. on its day. So, I think if it was about a year ago, I would have been like, he's probably going to leave. I thought he was going to go to United. But now that he's got those players around him playing the way they are, I think he'll stay. And I'm worried that he'll just keep on scoring, assisting insane amount of goals. Like, it's, that's yeah. ridiculous. Mm. Yes. Did you think he'll stay? It's a good point he makes about assists. He's developed his game a lot, hasn't he? Everyone saw him as like a, a number nine. He's recently said he, he plays as a 10. We've seen him out wide. He drops deep in those situations. His game's developed a lot, hasn't it, over the years in terms of the positions he's taken up and the amount of goals he's getting as, as well as assists now as well. Yeah, you're, you're, you're loving this though. You need to chill out. I can see the way you're smiling and grinning. And like, <laughs> back. Yeah? Listen, Harry Kane is world oh, class, yeah? We yes. all know this. I'm saying... If he manages to stay at Tottenham, which to be fair, I, I wouldn't be shocked if he does stay at Tottenham. Will he? Will he, he stay? Some great things. 
I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say yeah. He will stay, man. I, I reckon he loves the club. You know, what I mean, captain of the club, um, and you probably will bring in a, uh, some silverware within the next season or so. So yeah, I think he'll stay, man. With the, with the team around him as well, you guys got a great squad. Um, but that's enough compliment in Tottenham. Can we move on? That's all right, please. <laughs> I think well, I just want to quickly get Smithy's thoughts actually on this because well, he, he's been smiling away. They're asking the questions. You know, Smith, what would he, what's his legacy going to be at Spurs? Because I remember the last game at White Hart Lane, Spurs were wheeling out the legends, you know, the big names, Edgar Davids, Dimitar Berbatov, all of the big guns coming out there. Where did well, he, where he sit? Glenn Hoddle and, there was also Gaza, Glenn Hoddle, David Gillard. You know, there are a lot of legends at Spurs. Huh? Where does he sit? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's got a little bike. No, I think, look, Kane, I think Charles made a very good point. His affiliation to the club is very strong. He always talks about how much he loves uh, playing for Tottenham. I, I think, look, will he win the Premier League at Spurs? I, I don't know. You know, I don't know if, if he will. I think he can win the Premier League. I, I don't know if he definitely will. But I do think winning a trophy, winning a Premier League for Tottenham will mean more than, say, he went to Barcelona and won two La Liga titles. The affiliation that he has with the club would mean more to him. I think he will stay, providing there is continued continued investment in the squad and Spurs have a realistic chance of winning trophies and I do think uh, I agree with Chunks if he does stay injury free he's got a very good chance uh, of breaking Shearer's record I want to wrap it up guys by just asking you where you think he ranks now in terms of the best strikers in world football so currently right now where does he rank in terms of best strikers in world football Chunks? Lewandowski number one yeah and then call me crazy but I reckon Kane's up there man you got the Lukaku's as well. Funny, got, you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah, I reckon Kane's number two, man. Alex, quickly, yeah, I, with you, same question. I, yeah, yeah, I, I'd say Lewandowski's got to be number one. Then you've got Kane and then probably Haaland. And that would be my three currently at the moment. I just yeah. I love all of those three. 